Hello, in this video, we're going to compute the tangent of pi over six. Let's go ahead and work through its solution. So you can do this using the fact that tangent is sine over cosine, and then knowing the values for the sine of pi over six and the cosine of pi over six. I'm gonna do it a different way. I'm going to use it uh, without that knowledge, but instead with a different piece of mathematics. So we have a triangle here. This is a right triangle. This angle here is pi over three. And this angle here is pi over six. So here we have one, two, three, and then we have a square root. And using this triangle and so ka toa, this is very, very powerful. You can use this to compute all kinds of trig function values, very powerful mathematics. And so for tangent, we have O over A. So tangent would be O over A. O stands for opposite. And A stands for adjacent. And if you're curious, H stands for hypotenuse. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So for us, we have the tangent of pi over six, so so katoa, oa, oa, so it's gonna be o over a, so opposite over adjacent, so looking at pi over six, uh, opposite is gonna be one, that's, that's the side that's opposite the angle pi over six, and the adjacent side is the square root of three, so it's just one over the square root of three. Really beautiful, so this is equal to one over the square root of three, and you can rationalize this, you can multiply by the square root of three over the square root of three, which is essentially multiplying by one, that's gonna give us the square root of three over three as another possible answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Maybe you just wanted to know how to compute it, so now you know one way to do it. Good luck.